A path that passes through each vertex of a graph exactly once is called a Hamilton path. If a Hamilton path begins and ends at the same vertex and passes through all other vertices exactly once, it is called a Hamilton circuit. The brute force method is finding the sum of each possible circuit and choosing the one that costs the least. Using the brute force method, find the Hamilton circuit in a completed weighted graph for which the sum of the weights of the edges is a minimum. Using the given table, model the problem with the complete weighted graph. Show each value from each possible vertice to the next. Now using the graph Make a list of all possible Hamilton circuits. This is a Hamilton circuit because it only goes through each vertice one time and then it's back at A. So you count the value from each vertice from A to B, from B to C, to, from C to D, to D to A, and you add it up to get a total. You do this for each um, possible Hamilton circuit. The goal in listing all the possible Hamilton circuits is to determine the sum of the weights of the edges for each of the Hamilton circuits and then um, discover which one was the least amount of money and that's the optimal route.
After listing all possible Hamilton circuits, determine which one had the least total amount. The Hamilton circuit with the minimum sum of weights is the optimal solution because it costs the least amount of money. Route 3 and Route 4 cost the same amount, so either one of those would be the optimal solution. A sales director who lives in City A is required to fly to regional offices in Cities B, C, D, and E. The nearest neighbor method is starting at a certain point in City A and choosing the cheapest route to the next city and so on, completing a circuit back to your original point. Using the nearest neighbor method, find the Hamilton circuit in a completed weighted graph for which the sum of the weights of the edges is a minimum. Identify the vertex that serves as the starting point, which would be A. From the starting point, choose the edge with the smallest weight. Move along this edge to the second vertex. C has the smallest weight at 114. From the second vertex, choose the edge with the smallest weight that does not lead to a vertex already visited. This would be E with 115. Continue building the circuit one vertex at a time by moving along the edge with the smallest weight until all vertices are visited. You go to D because you can't go to A because it was already visited and you can only go to each one once until you return to the starting point. When you get to B, the only option left is to go back to A. The path we took to get back to A using the nearest neighbor method was A, 2C, 2E, 2D, 2B, and back to A, and this is the optimal solution.